Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. What's up, Ozwip? <laughs> How are we all doing today? What's up, Dakota? Taylor. Would you rather an IPS panel or an OLED? Um, for gaming, I use TN, but I've never used an OLED. I've used an IPS and they're pretty good. It depends on the monitor, like, depends on the ghosting. Honestly, I think the best, like, it, it just depends. It's like, if you only care about gaming, then BenQ's 360 Hertz is probably the best monitor out right now. But if you want like gaming plus workflow plus desk, you know, it's like, it just depends. Um, if I was to buy a monitor for like gaming right now though, I'd buy BenQ's 360 Hertz. I use their 240 right now. So. What's up, John? I must be an IPS. I mostly play Apex, but I do dabble a bit in single player games. It's a TN panel. When am I going to play in tourneys again? Um, I will probably not do that. Apex Legends? Yo. Sure, I feel about the facial hair situation. Okay. This is a Wendy's. Oh man, I had a funny conversation with my dad about asking for um, chips with queso at like any place you go to. Like, so, and I was like, sir, this is a Wendy's. Hey, can I get a, or chips and guac? Chips and guac. Uh, sir, this is a Wendy's. I know. That's why I'm asking. What's up, Christian? Some money pretty soon. Let's just fire it. Which monitor to get? I'll have a look at the BenQ 360. Yeah, it's just like... I I'm biased because the only thing I care about is gameplay, right? So... Um, it's like, if you only care about in my opinion, the most competitively viable monitor. It's like, it's 
probably the BenQ 360, but like you have to think at the same time, it's like if your computer doesn't push 360 and in Apex only 300 technically, um, doesn't go higher than 300. So it's like, is it actually worth it? Eh, you know, it's like I play CS2 and technically that's the best you can get in my eyes, but there are also better. I also have a 390 hertz monitor that's IPS, but I did the ghosting's worse on it, and I just end up liking TN more and the color profile on TN, so it's like, it's a very personal question. Any games I'm looking forward to? Uh, no, not really. Why don't I get in Realm? Uh, I am in Realm, I just choose not to play. Matthew, thank you for the 100 men. Appreciate that. Cheaper 240 because of the 300 FPS cap. Yeah, then in that case, I'd recommend my monitor, the XL2546K BenQ, or if you want like something kind of goofy, the 390 Hertz, um, Easter Fire Legend, like it, it has a really weird name, but that's actually the cheapest monitor I own and the highest spec wise. Um, and it's pretty, pretty wild. So. Currently using a 170 hertz 1080p. All right, yeah, like it'll be an upgrade, but the biggest the biggest change will be getting a monitor with like Diac and BenQ or like backlight. Just any sort of backlight strobing is going to be the biggest difference because 170 to 240 just isn't like that much. Um. Are you playing controller now? I just play whatever I want, so I can play either. And as of late, I've been wanting to play controller more. What's up, baby? What's up, Jason? to try metro games i have i'm just not like i just don't actually play games <laughs> like i'm gonna be honest but like i <laughs> i just don't particularly enjoy playing games play apex don't blame me there i had to switch back game assist op and it's good it's just like it's honestly just about whichever you have more fun with and i actually have range to improve on controller so i have fun with it it's like, it's not to say that I don't on MK, it's just like the amount I'd have to put in is like 10 times the amount I play. What's up, you? I would love to see you play a horror game. I wouldn't. <laughs> like I say this a lot. I'm like the least gamery gamer. Like I'll play, like I play Apex all day, every day, but um, yeah, outside of streaming, you might wonder what games does Garrett play off stream? Trick question, he doesn't. I don't play games off stream. I just go read. Looking forward to X Defiant. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see about that one. I'm a little more pessimistic about it. But if you have fun playing it, go crazy just doesn't really spark my interest. More excited for CS2 to see if it ends up being any better. Like the facial hair. Thanks, man. I grew up myself. Super glad for me. Thanks.
of Gar have I read Aragon yet? I have not. Club Zack. Ouch, man. You guys are doing great. Happy? Mm. I will counter with does it particularly matter? The more you worry about happiness, the less you'll have it. You're, you're, you're chasing an invisible beast there, my friend. What's mm. up, Steven? I just kind of do my thing. Jacob. I'm recharging my shields. I need light ammo. Up, Tucker. The range here. Best in a tight spot. Dips. Not serious. This could get interesting. The range here. I win.
Never mind. I'm back on COD since the patch. That's cool. I'm glad it's better. Looks like I'm new here. I'm actually a long time follower. I just want a new account. It happens. It happens. Oh, gee, my man. I know the name. Good enough for me. Danny in the family. How are we doing today? Are right, the games? Well, we're one for one so far, so. But, er, as in, this is the first one, and I suppose it's gone alright, so. Close. It wasn't your Christina, how are you? How was your dinner with your friend? <laughs> What's my own follow age number? Um, I don't know. I don't follow my own account. Uh, I don't know if it automatically does. I technically have zero following. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Robot not working out. I don't know. Door. Whoa, you go far. Hands up. I need light ammo. Light ammo here. I can use that. Mm. Ten seconds, rings close. Thanks. Shall we head this way? Hmm, no. Wait, I think we have to go. Wait, is this accurate? Yo. Uh -oh. I think we died this way, to be honest. Care package incoming. Y'all learned this. Just watch your backs. Or maybe not. Hope you got he shields. Oh, was that one took off? Yeah, it was one took off. Oh. How do I feel about Broken Moon? Dog shit, man. Awful. Might be livable with one more heat shield. And the problem is, is I don't think he has. Making good order gosh up today. Fine two. Very excited. Mm. Best case is actually to look for more heat shields. Lucky. But two more heat shields are actually gonna live. If anyone was wondering, the very easy way to live there, technically. Oh no, can hear your answer to the Broken Moon question. Awful map. Terrible. Um, the very easy way to live there is heat shield at the bottom, everyone heal. Go up to the top, heat shield, everyone heal. Run forward, heat shield, everyone heal, run forward, and then you make it in. Um, but that requires a minimal amount of teamwork, so. In public matches, impossible. Very simple though. Midday, all good with me. I wonder if I've gotten that email yet. I'm supposed to be receiving an email today. Fun. Back and clear. I'm ready. 
No. That was right by the way to go tunnel. You know, so I thought there was an error on the map to where you can't, like, like it looks like you can go through there, but it's actually up top and you can't actually go through there. And I don't remember which one that was. Yeah, I, I can't see any of them, which is fine, but. Hey, why didn't it work? My bad. I'm sorry, that's my fault. I think you might have been holding your mouth wrong. Let me love you. Not doubting you have 5k more hours than I do. Yeah, it's like, that's one of those things where it was just kind of silly. I should have just gone the way the map. So far this season, what guns are your go-to? Uh, smart pistol and the 401, the new one. I see. How's my day so far? Great. What are your feeling towards Fade, bruh? He's the real movement gun. Yeah, he's pretty good, bruh. Love the smart pistol? I don't. Allegedly, that's what we're getting. Did I go to the gym today? Yeah. Went to the gym, took my dad out to coffee. It's a good morning. Chat is being kind of delayed. No, it always works perfectly. That must be user error. For legal reasons, that it's a joke. Time to one pocket, one to go, then to attach. Best of luck. You're pretty chill. We do Mozambique only this round. Uh, no, I have a video posted of me doing shotguns only though, and I've done. Knows Emily a lot. What? I've been gone for one week and there's a new pistol? No. Rate your parents on a scale from 1 to 10. 10 does not even encompass how wonderful they are and how lovely they are as people. So. Why is there not an energy pistol? Uh, loot pool distribution. Unintelligent. <laughs> I looked them in the eyes and said, I would like to drop out of college to pursue video games. And they said, yeah, all right. So, you know, like, <laughs> how bad can it really be? challenge that is not a challenge that is a
about doing finishers on all your knocks. I'm not in the mood for challenges. Thank you for asking, though. What were you going to college for? Economics. Financial advisory runs in the family. I still do actually love econ stuff and all that, all that good stuff. Any attorneys coming up? Nope, I don't plan on playing any. Oh, it's you. Thanks, my man. So I'm a sub whenever I can find you, bro. I'm gonna watch you for a bit. Just came across you. Oh, yeah? I oh, appreciate you being here, my man. Appreciate the questions, too. Thank you very much, my friend. tried going for no guns only nades uh yeah it's it's pretty tough solo and it was one of those where it's like i can fail at this for a very long time and i know how to win it but i don't really want to do what's necessary I could, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I appreciate you, Steven. Just not playing all today. Just not finishing my finishing my damage conversions. Need to step it up. So sorry. Extremely ready for this. We ready? I am ready. Mirage, can't wait. This is your champion. Mm -hmm. You are ready for the auction. Land here. Trust your elders, eh? No, that's not a bad follower at all, Steven. I just appreciate being here when you can. It happens. I do gold knockdown shields work now. You res your teammate with extra shield and health. Kind of like how gold bag used to be. Mm, how long did it take for you to adjust the roller? I have always been able to play both.
What's my go-to ride at amusement parks? I do not like amusement parks at all, to be honest. Better for you to stream here than on purple platforms to stream with Faden Casals. That's dope. Congrats on getting married. Um I mean it's the same thing except it's the reverse. Like here was the best for me and I'm here, so mm. Mm, here goes a watch for ages, never spoke. I appreciate you saying what's up, Mark. Hello. So I can properly thank you for being here. Thanks for being here, my man. Wanted to ask, I've played since season one, but I've never improved. What's your best tip for shooting playing Xbox? Um, well, if you're playing and not improving, then typically you need to identify area of largest constraint, right? And then just work on that. And, um, sometimes you might just need to like sit down and think, well, like, how do you actually improve, right? So just playing isn't typically improving. A lot of people think it is. It's usually not. Uh, asking a friend to like hop in the range and like 1v1 up close with peacekeepers. That's a good way. Like usually most of it I've noticed comes down to nerves, like people not being comfortable in situations. So then playtime will just help that. But um, if you played a long time and it's still not helping, it's probably the fact that you're just not like practicing as much as you could be like in the range with, um, in the range with, like a friend or like the bots now that you can set them to move so i'd put less time into playing more time into practicing is usually it because like playing usually doesn't equate to practicing very much if you've done a lot of practicing then just probably time to like redefine how you practice and then maybe do it a bit more consciously i've seen the video with lgs having wallers i played against a lot of wallers in lgs so, yeah, I, I will say that currently I don't see anyone in Pro League that weirds me out. I think everyone in Pro League is fine right now, at least in NA, but um, I know Challenger Circuit has a lot of wallers. Appreciate that. Streaming on FB was a thing until just now. I was bored. Haven't seen Fade's videos. Thought I came here. New Fave. Hey. Appreciate that very much, my man. Christian, um, I've been around forever. I was, hey man, I was gonna come get you. Been around forever and been was in K for a long time. I play controller for fun because I get bored. Uh, I was like one of the original movement players for MNK. I was in uh, Ace's original movement guide, etc. Also, did I answer your, your question to a satisfactory degree mark, or is there is there a part of that that you'd like me to clarify or something? I 
finally got me a PC. Hey, congratulations, Tyler. Hope you enjoy it, my man. Do you use LCs? Mm -mm. Nope. Or two linear small dead zone. Oh, Linji though. 100% gonna stick with the range for a while and practice my aiming more. Yeah, and like remember. No pro player or roam was built in the day. It's like. Make sure to just be incorporating more range into it it's like don't replace playing the game at all with the range. you know like don't be like ah, i'm only gonna play the range now i still play the game just you know just add it into the routine got my first 3k today on valcalia mm -hmm. oh wow okay i know Faye was not the best when i was playing with them Hard made a name for himself, certainly did. Very cool to see where he ended up at. Because it was like, it was just kind of. There wasn't as many movement players in the beginning. Um, and movement definitely wasn't as high of a skill floor as it is now. It was like, very simple things were not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> By no means standard. It was like, oh my god, he momentum shifts. Insane. Uh, and then... We kind of figured out more and more over time. That's cool. Cool time. The best I've seen for movement. He does things that seem impossible. And is still a top ranked player. Where do I stop playing in his attitude and sass? He can show and play. Get him down. It says a lot more than showing off. Eh, I mean, like... If anything, I think the most important thing... I mean, he's just kind of a sassy dude, you know, it's like <laughs> style's not going to be for everyone, but it's him and I think a, a larger crime is to be someone you're not, you know, and, you know, with how much any of us stream, it's not like you can actually hold that forever. So you know, just be yourself. And... <sighs> well, that's not to say to not strive to be like better towards people or more polite or anything, but it's like. I don't, I don't worry about other people too much, I suppose. Boston. What happened to Capra? Um, he learned a lesson and now it's grinding to get back in the first scene. Playing with randoms today. Mm -hmm. Need a new map, in my opinion. Mm, two more seasons. Am I done with ranked grinding? Oh yeah. I wanted to play against. Mm -hmm. um. I don't think there's a day I wake up where I really want to play against cheaters every single game and then get DDoS in the games that I don't. You know. They start caring about ranked again, I might, but probably not. What other platforms am I live on? Zero. 
I'm gonna steal them in K movement guy, Garrett. shine <laughs> well it's certainly hard to shine around a caliber player like that you know he's a talented player that's for sure no one can ever take that away from him we have a dac camp headphones combo recommendation for around 1k oh dang that's actually exactly the price point that i have uh yeah i use just a uh, I, guess, I suppose a little more i would this comes with a very very large asterisk i would say here's what i'd look into for a starting point um audio is a scary land ryan be careful <laughs> but uh what i have is dca aeon noir twos um you, you have a good price point that's a really good price point to work with uh dca aeon noir twos and then a schi tt shit stack uh a modi and mini and i just look at shits offerings for dad camp combos they have in my eyes and experience well my ears and experience they have the best kind of like budget combos honestly like like that's when you hit the land of diminishing returns where it's like you can double the price and you're getting like three percent better kind of deal so oh Kristen. Your brother said Apex is down on FB. That was a joke that got taken way too far. I'm an only child, and uh, it most certainly is. But, you know, that's not like. What you gonna do? like look into those areas i'm a big i think you can get the original eleanor's they're not quite as technical but they're still really good um you can probably get them for a little cheaper and then a shit stack which is like 220 total i think that probably would hit your 1k mark pretty well um like if you know who oh shoot what's his name I'm gonna bug me I can see his face. He shoots in um a very he shoots in an anamorphic aspect ratio in it. <laughs> this is just silly, Gibby. Come on now. Uh, DMZ or something? I know, what's his name? There's a really good headphone YouTuber, and I can't remember his name. Hold on. I'm healing. Oh. Uh, yeah, YouTube's your best friend, though. I just give it a look, and then I'd look into those companies. And is it DMZ? Troll, I believe to this day, and said, "Hmm, must be half siblings." Congratulations. Yeah, I'm only child, which is why I'm so weird. <laughs> it's gonna bother me if I don't look it up. Thank you again for the 500 run. The rings are neighbor pals. DMS, that's what it is. He he's he's I trust him very much so. Um DMS. That's what his name is. He shoots in a weird anamorphic style though. And I feel like anamorphic. <laughs> it's like native anamorphic though, so it's very weird to watch YouTube. I don't know if you've ever watched an anamorphic video on YouTube, so like a wide aspect ratio. It just feels wrong. 
I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be 16-9. You are very odd, but we like that about you, question mark. I thought that like Christina would. Welcome back, Christina. Nope. Oh, alright, bye. <laughs> Probably over there then. Spotted an enemy over there. I see you. Keep down, darlings. We're already in the fire. Care package. Drop it. Shouldn't have stunned. Doesn't make you go any faster, so. If I was critiquing him, what I would recommend. The Magna, do you need to turn it on and off every time you want to use it, or do you just leave it on? I just leave it on, to be honest. favorite streamer yeah not any good ones though Violin Gilo best of luck friend I just leave my shit off I'm gonna be honest um yeah the Magni Modi stack and I don't the I don't use them all the time though so the thing is is that I I use a go XLR when I play games because that's how I send my audio to you guys and I can't use my deck amp with that um Mm. Or more specifically, I have no idea how. Most important thing, if you're in the... Why are you, my friend Eddie dicked me? <laughs> my friend just sent me this text to wife hoping for a normal day. Good morning. <laughs> me. I'm gonna try to become left-handed. True. This is, like, by far the best tool if you're into headphones um a piece equalizer it's crazy how different it goes <laughs> yeah i've yet to figure them out true <laughs> oh man <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, what was that I pulled up? Peace equalizer. Turned to like audiophile stuff. I just like it. Am I no speakers at all? No, I have no speakers. Would I? Maybe? I have other things to spend money on. Speakers are not on the list so far. Jacob! Thank you. I appreciate you. I, I have thought about speakers though. Um, not for, not for gaming, for... Um, I actually really want a vintage radio. Like a like a 1950s tube radio, uh, because that crackle is, wah, but I've also not done that. Jacob, thank you very much for the five gifted. I. One Jacob to another Jacob to another Jacob. Okay, now I'm back for real. I can't even tell if you're telling the truth. 
chick. <laughs> is your champion. Violence for science. Oh, quite the game. I'm jump master. I'd say fasten your seatbelts, but it's not that kind of ride. Hold on, I'm texting my friend. Stop. <laughs> ah! I guess it's only a Jacob thing. You wouldn't know. Not a Jacob. I'm an honorary Jacob, so. It's funny, when I was at coffee this morning with my dad, the girl was like, and can I get a name for the order? I was like, Garrett, and she goes, Derek? I'm like, yep. <laughs> and my dad goes, uh, huh. oh, nope. <laughs> and she was like, uh, oh, did I? And he's like, he was, and she goes, why'd you say yes? And I said, because I get a different name nearly every time. And so I just listen for what you say say yes and then take whoever Derek's coffee is like I know what I order so it's... when a name close to Garrett with my order comes out I have almost taken the wrong order before but I will just yoink that shit Those are actually level fours, and I feel bad. But I also didn't want to say that out loud and be wrong and then feel bad. It's not like they had a chance to shoot back, so... The worst I get is my name being spelled wrong. Like, care why? The weirdest I've gotten is Jerrit. J-E-R-E-R-E-T. -E -E like, man, that's just creative. I can't even be mad about that. Healing, give me a sec. Ten seconds, rings close. So you look like Joseph Gordon Levitt and Scott Curry, like in a hold on. No, I get I'm getting a lot of random people. <laughs> like I have not gotten Joseph Gordon Levitt yet. Thank you, he's handsome. Alright, let's see, Scotty Curry. I got, can you guess who, I don't see Scotty as much, but looks like a cool dude. Kristen or Christian. <laughs> I'm out of shotgun oh yes, hello Christian. <laughs> no, no, can you guess who I get the most? Probably not as much when I have facial hair, but maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's how I escape it. It was a Jeff Jarrett wrestler, I think. Yeah, I get Jarrett every once in a while, which I've never met a Jarrett, so. Who is this? Elon Musk playing Apex. That's the one. My apparent stepfather, Elon Musk. Why didn't you ever tell me, Mom? Here I go. Michaela, good morning. Australian? Hold on, I have to reply to my friend. He's important. Watch out for the new kill leader, friend. Hostile, close. What did I say? Oh, look at that. 
in the top half. Couldn't have done it without you, pals. Shotgun bolt here. Level three. I just don't listen. Yes, Australia times. Oh, I knew it. Why is unironically hyphenated? I see Tommy in here. Orange chicken from the hit restaurant Panda Express. Ah, a true Chinese connoisseur. This is our time. No, no, no. I don't get to talk with him. He's a busy student at Princeton. He gets my time whenever he asks. But you might. Oh, no. Natural social environment. No, it was me struggling to get it to spell unironically correctly. They kept trying to say "im ironically," and I don't know why. It is unironically frustrating. Ground some burgers, fries, tuna salad. Mmm. Tuna. Shout out tuna for being a protein dump. Dang, dude, that's targeted. Unsub. That's fine. How ironic. That's what I was thinking. Am I dead? Oh, hello. Stop helping him. That's cheating. What are you gonna do? Scan me? No, I helped you. I I actually had Panic Express for lunch, unironically, but I don't eat anything other than the grilled chicken. I just order triple grilled chicken, I don't put any sauce on it, and I just eat that. This is awkward. I'm, oh, I'm down here with you. Nice. Are you knocked someone? Enemy removed from the data pool. That kill was a rip snorter. Reloading. So I can't make it home. I'm fine. Bill had to cook the experiment, and I love it. Oh, that is fair. Yeah, it was either cook the food that I don't have, or just order Panda Express and then stream quicker. Um. And I chose the lazy route because spending $13 to have $14 to have chicken at my door is much easier than cooking chicken. So I don't swear much. Is that normal? I can't watch many streams when my son is awake because I swear my family, friends, wife, and my sister and kids don't swear if you're a family friendly channel. That's dope. Um, throw in a little 
Never, never an F-bomb. I'll throw in a little, a little spicy word here and there, but yeah, in general, there's none of that. I just, like, grew up not swearing, and so I just kind of carried over. I'll cook you some food. I'm, I'm actually, like, it is a legitimate strategy. I'm trying to poach my friend who is really good at cooking to live with me so that I can then steal his ability to cook. Ah, oh, yes. I will give you reduced rent. <laughs> cook for me, please. Here are my macros, I'm begging you. Probably quicker to just... Yeah, whatever. Get the grilled teriyaki chicken 2 Garrett. So much better than the old version they had. There was an old version? Here it is, PG, PG-13. True. Sorry, it sounds like old car horns. There was a great time. There's a... I'm not going to bother doing the joke. I will just explain the joke because that's always funnier is explaining the joke. There's a bleep button on GoXLRs where you can swear and then I'd pretend swear and then bleep myself every time. And then people would be like, huh, that's so funny. How do you do that? And I'm like, oh, it's just a software you can have where it bleeps every swear word for you. And then I'd like pretend and be like, see, it doesn't fork. And then like wouldn't. And then I'd be like, dude, what the? F and then I'd bleep. Them. Here, my dad always said if your vocabulary is so small that you have to resort to fantasy to express yourself, you're not worth listening to. And that to be true, but I do get teased as a 20 year old man who has never has a. Never has and never will swear or cuss, etc. What the heck is up, Kyle? Yeah, I will I will be honest though. What would you say? Like, swear substitutes are nails against. Nails on a chalkboard in my ears. What the frick, man? I just can't <laughs> deal with that, but. <laughs> Outside of that, we're good. Hello. Hey! This isn't your fight. That's just rude, man. <laughs> you just called me Kyle? You got a problem with that? That's the thing, dude. What the heck is up? I'm a Gary, are you that old that you don't know that meme? Oh my goodness. Rep each week or every other week. Yeah, he doesn't live in the same state as me, so kind of a problem. But that is a technique. I love my friends. Anyways, don't be rude. Got him. Moderated. Can't wait to play Broken Spoon later and die to cheaters. That sounds fun. News flash pal, my name is not Kyle. We just said, what the frick? That substitute? Yeah, like, what the frick, dude? If you need it, I can get it. Dude, are you son of a... Son of a beeswax? Like, that kind of stuff? It's just, like, Let's just don't. <laughs> Collect yourself. Say, wow. That human. Or just be very over the top about it. Who beat me to that? That was lightning fast. Hello. Bang! Introducing the champion. Exactly, Christian. Below. 
What is this map? Oops. We're gonna be got things to do around the house, but I'll leave you on. Just won't be in chat as much. Best of luck. Murder those doors. Love the stream. I wanna type, but I also need to play us. Hold on, in memento. Love you, heart. Inputs, man. What the? What's up? Uh, moderate anymore? Retired? I just collect royalties. That's true. I actually have never seen Gary moderate. Back in the day, he was so excited to ban people. No, he's like, mm, Garrett will get it. and rice i have no idea what that means to be honest we got to get our boy back i just do not care about anything else this is the only thing that matters to me big profanity replacements are more cringe i was saying something normal instead they stride calm down speak english or just speak another language just go for the go for the complete mix up and just switch to French or something. It's not really a profanity if it's in French, you know what I mean? It doesn't count. It's different. I want you to have that. It's for me. Special gift. Bought subs, but it didn't show. Bug. Oh, it actually. Why did it not show in chat? I'm so sorry about that. Joseph! Thank you for the far gift my friend. I'm so sorry that didn't show in chat. Um, thank you very much. It did show up in mine, so on my like alert dashboard, but I didn't see it in chat, so I missed it completely. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I very much appreciate that. If you got a gifted sub from Joseph, say thank you. Or I will over-serve your pancakes. It's not an enjoyable experience. I saw it in chat. Well, I didn't. We don't all see the same chat. You know this. French Canadian bilingual, so it's still swearing for me. Oh, all right. We'll switch it up. German. A little Russian in there. You know, Russian's a great one to swear in. Feels very powerful. Bad streamer is bad. True. Ain't that the truth? I think I prefer waffles. Final answer. Well, I will force feed you pancakes and over syrup them. Which is, sounds like your worst nightmare, truthfully. That sounds like the worst scenario possible for you. There's a guy behind me, and I don't. It's me. A little uncomfortable. So sorry, I have a lot of bullets. Let's play the game. Can I react in time before I die to a third party? If I get shot, I didn't get shot. It doesn't count. Let me see what the bow is. Mexican and German swear words. I am pretty sure it's still Spanish, but German's definitely a good one. SB hops, can I do some wall jumps? I can certainly try. I can certainly try my best. Up. Eyes are open now. Bounce. You guys ever just find a new artist and then all you can do is play that artist music for the next week? What's up, Michael? Good you see you, my friend. You need to recharge my shield. Hey, 
Are you an Alan Watts fan by chance? Out of curiosity. Yo, relax, man. Dang. That was a fire video. Hold on the power cord. <laughs> ah, we're all dead. Dang. That's the last of that squad. Dimension. Hold on. German children's song. Surely means that everyone's dead in the end, right? That's the only thing I know about German children's songs. Oh. Hey friend. Level four. I got you a body shield. Oh, oh, he is lagging. I'll save you. Need to my oh, my high boost I normally can't climb gives a high boost. Yeah, it's more that I just play controller, so it's a little riskier. All right, well, I play both, but. Um, I'm currently on controller, so it's a little. A little more sketchy at times. Honestly, I've heard his name before, but haven't read any of his books. You might want to check out the uh, Wisdom of Insecurity. That's that's probably my favorite of his. He has some good like lectures. Viking Death Metal found one, did them for a day, found a new one, just keep repeating. It's a good strategy. Mm -hmm. Sounds extremely aggressive. It is German after all. No! My boy! So sorry, friend. We've lost him. I'll use your vault in solidarity. Because once they pop into a box, it's all over. So, this vault's for you, my man. On it, sir, let me look. L is the first thing that pops in my head when people mention anything German. Got a replicator Cool skin. I'm going to this skin on. And he has good taste in skins. What can't this man do? You're so good at this game, dude. Thank you, Alex. I try my medium. Turns out the power was on again, and I didn't even know. Aha. Oops. Oh, I'm back. No more 2%. Let's go. I kind of want to change my Steam name, but just the one squad left, pals. At the same time, I'm not gonna do them. <laughs> you know that's a normal word too, Christian, right? <laughs> like. Like, you know, it's a functional word, like... <laughs> Change your name to might be Derek. True. Mayhaps Garrett. Let's go over there. Spam and jump considered bunny hopping on roller. I mean, if you are bunny hopping, then yeah. You do any coaching on off days? No. Uh, his Watson does them. <clears throat> Here now, concept reference in the book looks good. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty easy one to burn through, and it's pretty good. It's a good introduction to Alan and some of his. I'm not a big fan of all of his philosophy, but he has some good. He has some good overall stuff. 
I feel so bad for you guys. You guys can't even hear my music and it's such a bop right now. more again? No. No, I know, just poking. Just double check. <laughs> Cheaters are us. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, Jacob. Out of my list of next purchases. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. I thought about it earlier. I was I was watching a pretty good video on um, what was it? It was something the line along the lines of um, intended virtue is almost always comes at a price. It was a it was a good video. I can't hear. Let me love you. I'm, I'm, I'm just a little mad at that no reg. It's all good. I haven't been playing new game or just over gaming. Um, more on the over gaming part. I don't play games off stream. And I just don't really want to play Apex as much. Recharging my shield. Why was I allowed life? Thanks, man. I honestly was not expecting to get back up. A second chance. Is a momentum when charging chargeable weapons is a tad broken when bahopping. Mm. It could be healing while bahopping, so pick your fights carefully. I don't think that's really that broken though. Not a big problem. Havoc? Uh, no, I got in the habit of never running a Havoc because my partner always ran it. You almost always use 1x scopes. Statistically, yes. Gary, why did you call me? On the radish, carrots, cucumber, the fresh mint. Oh, that actually... Oh, you are... You are kind of trolling, Gary. That sounds fire. Yeah, Havoc's really good. Cody always ran him, though, so I never, never bothered. Oops.
Change your name to Prob Gary. I would, but I'm not going to. That is a fire window. We can talk about all my name changes. I'm going to still not do them, but. And one time, my other keys. My roommate pointed out to me that all of the songs that I listen to, not all of them, but a lot of them, have the same pattern, and I could never unhear it, and it made me a little sad. I was like, oh no. He's gonna get man search for me next? Oh, get that one next for sure. That one's sister. Remember what you finished off your light level with Destiny? Absolutely no clue. I get carried so hard in that game and do so little of it, and my boys help me out, and I appreciate them for that because I get to enjoy Destiny without having to stress about Destiny. It's much better that way. Cheating. Oh, really? Never kills and tells. Never charge it to my actually do better without it. However, it is truly a statistically worse gun. You could do a fun play on words with your name, which would be. You think it? I think it is a top. I, I think anyone who doesn't have that book in their top 10 is smoking a pack. I, I think you are faded if you do not have that in your top 10. Even, and I think you are very respectable to put it in your top five. And so, I, I think that highly of it. Three more days of Brooklyn. Oh, hold on. My friend, hello. I'm currently streaming, but I wanted to say hello. Um, how late are you tonight? Uh, I'll, I'll text you when I'm done and see if you can call. If not, let's call tomorrow. Alrighty, buddy. Love you, brother. I'll call you back. Bye. Love my friends. Anyways, what well, book? Man's Search for Meaning, Victor E. Frankel. S tier book. S S S tier. Like 10, 10 S's book. The only JFPS games, Gary? Diablo 4 out of the question for you? Uh, yeah, I'm only an FPS player for the most part. Even my for fun games are FPS games. Telling me love him before hanging up. That is my 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 brother right there. I will oh. always end that call with love you, buddy. I'll talk to you later. 
<laughs> it's like one of those i'm very fortunate to have this i have some friends literally from kindergarten that's my other kindergarten friend um that i'm still good friends with that it's like one of those things where we it's like we grew up so linked together that it's like someone you share kind of an entire past with that's pretty cool i'm very fortunate mm -hmm. just downloaded it thanks man i promise you'll love it if you don't um just let me know and we'll figure something out it'll probably be a fist fight but ah. <laughs> Fine, last day fasting, let's go. Very nice. I wanted to start trying 24 hour fast. Just for the like health benefits. So I'm very curious to give it a go. I've done a couple 36 hour fast before. Not on purpose. And definitely interesting. Also, hi Britannia. How are you today, Mayo Fiend? That sounds like a very strange... That is, like, the weirdest thing I've said out loud today. Care package over there. Extended light mag here. Level two. Hold up. Healing. Hmm. They are in two. I was homeschooled after we met, reconnected several times throughout childhood. Now we are family. Legally? Good and mailless, how are you? <laughs> so sorry. I won't finish you. It seems messed up. Fasting is super beneficial. <laughs> Fasting is super beneficial. Mm. Been really hurtful. Won't answer literally hundreds of calls, letters, emails, texts over the last five years. Man, that's such a bummer. I'm very sorry to hear that, man. Like. Curtis, I can't stay too long packing at the moment, saw your stream. Well, thank you very much for saying hi, man. It was good to see you. Hope the uh, packing's going well. Remember, it's like Tetris, but harder or easier. Depends what you're packing. I'll save you, Cam Warrior. I don't want them hurt you. Why didn't I kill him? It felt wrong. I mean. Was he really even there to fight back? I'll save you, Mr. Ham Warrior. Get out of the. There you go. Did he do that? Just a mirage clone, don't worry.
This is for you. I got that for you. Is 48 law of powers as good as they say it is, or is it overhyped? Mm, it depends how much of the hype you buy into. It's like, it, if you if you think of it as like the, the book banned from prisons, then like it might not live up to that. But if you just think of it as a book. If you're just like, ah, yes, a book. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I liked it. That's any... <laughs> Thanks very much. That's any consolation. I, I really liked it. I like Robert Greene a lot, though. I have all of his books. I would say his daily laws are honestly probably my favorite book. I got bad about it. I used to do it every day for like a few months and then now I got bad about it. But when I moved, I just kind of like, I don't know where I put it. It's in my book stack somewhere. I just don't know where. Um. Not sold on it. I, I think it's worth reading. I think it's it, it's one of those books where I think it's undeniably worth the read. Thank you. I don't think you're worse off. You know those like better off worse off books? You're definitely not worse off. Um, it's just like, you know, power. It's not power dynamics as in the way he'll explain it is it's more about protecting yourself from power as opposed to like overindulging in it. The identification of it is more important to him than the manipulation of it and I think that's the appropriate mental framework oh my god he's back to go into it with any upcoming game you're excited for I actually have no idea what's coming out just no clue really hmm. this is actually not nearly the battle you think it is really good haven't seen him in over a year heading back over tomorrow before the move down south ah good man very kind of you Friendless, i'm gonna wait until it hits sale Pretty sure i mean it's i don't want to say there's any rush it's a good book though taste. I stare into the abyss. The abyss said it would woo. Kind of weird. A good book to get back into reading books. Well, what kind of books do you like? That's a, you know, there's, it's, that's like saying, what's a good show? It's like, well, do you like detective shows? Do you like cooking shows? Do you like self-improvement shows? Do you like... Gossip Girls? Golden Girls? Maybe... One? Two? Three? Four? 
So I raise my chin. <laughs> Careful, he posts on TikTok. I like fiction. Hmm. Fiction. Uh. Ooh. Yeah, that's not my professional genre. This is a weird book to recommend. It's kind of dark. Um. One Q84. By Marakame. It's. A good book. Very dark. Good book. Nicholas with the five gifted. Thank you so very much, my friend. If you got one of those gifted subs, please say thank you. Or else I will smack the back of your hand with a spoon. Wouldn't. Whoa! Do it again. Nice job. Very proud of you. Nicholas, thank you so much. Hard things in the mountain is you keeps pop. The hard things in the mountain is you keeps popping up. Is that a book, Hard Things in the Mountain? I've not seen that. Ooh! Uh, I feel like like philosophy and I don't, I don't know if I can really call it fiction. Like, is that in the art of motorcycle maintenance fiction? I don't know if that's fiction. It's about it's a story, and that's a really good book if you like philosophy and kind of fictional type stories, like linear stories. What do I think of George Orwell's 1984? I think that is an S tier book. Um, a must read, in my eyes. I put that at the tippy top. Or Orwell is one of my favorite authors. George Well. Jorwell. Back, my battery is getting. Emoji though, ah, uh, me too. Do hard things is do hard things is one book and the mountain is another. Oh, do hard things and the mountain. I see. That is a weird sentence. Um, not your fault. Like just reading that is hard. Uh, I do hard things. I've seen the mountain. I've not. Uh, I have. I've been slowing down a little bit. There was a uh. There was a book that I added to my cart today that I was interested in. Principles by Ray Dalio. Um, I've not read that yet and kind of surprised me when I read the over look of it. <laughs> Buddy of mine just released a book. That is so awesome, Brandon. Yeah, check that out if you want to support Brandon's friend. Isn't exactly an exact science. <laughs> Mountain was a great read. Oh, very cool. I hand with a spoon. Anyways, just add mayo. Sure. It's good for moisturizing. Beautifully divine. I can't wait to make her mine in my life. I should, I should, I should know better. What was this that you said gives like nice it. summaries of books? Blinkist. It is a subscription though. I was gifted it for my birthday. So, it's good though. Definitely a good way to get insights. I bet that's the real Andrew Tate. I bet it gets out of prison. First thing he wants to do, man, I miss Apex Legends. I can hardly blame him. That's what I'd do. Disappointing. Lizard King 1527! Oh no, the Matrix is after him. It's the Lizard Overlord. Yo! 
Relax. those to my Blinkist account. I haven't used my Blinkist in a while, and I should. Where do I... There you are. Do hard things. The mountain. <laughs> Hitting the eject button. Mm. Sorry, scheduling. I'm back. Controller looting makes me itchy. Does it make your teeth itchy? I have that problem too. It's go time. Hello again, Kristen. Christian. Hello. Just scheduling with my friend to make a to to get a time to call next week, you know. I'm Christian, she's Christian. Yeah, that's why I said Christian. Christian? No, I called you Christian, not Christian. I wouldn't mess up like that. Like, it's right there. Attention. There is a no, it's Christian and Christian. Yeah. Watch my back, pals. A new kill I am aware. Do you need me to, like, spell it out for you or something? Are you okay, man? Goodbye, phone dude. I'm not entirely sure where this disconnect is coming from. No, I'm saying it the same. No, I'm saying it different. Christian and Christian. I right, try refreshing the stream. Christian is Christian, not. Yeah, of course her name's not Chin. It's Christian. Refresh your stream. This is something's off. Uh. Oh my god, I'm dead! Get me out of here. I'm gonna go live. Come 
I am serious, Brittany. What are you? Not you two. Oh my god. No such thing as a serious Garrett. Kristen, what are you talking about? I am always serious. I'm like the most serious person in the Apex scene. You know what's weird? As I get more knowledge and wisdom, I'm just reading or studying topics. It's much harder to articulate my points to people because so many ways you can expand on a point. If you're putting it across, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, there's a good metaphor for this. The more ingredients you have, the harder it is to make a cohesive dish. You just messed up her name. Oh, I am so sorry. Christian. My bad. Did I say your name wrong, Christian? That is my mistake. So sorry. Why am I just dying on cooldown? That is embarrassing. I'm so sorry to me. It should have been me. You're not even hitting me. There's so much to talk about. The talk about our include it to a simple answer. Well, that's the fun part. There's never a simple answer. The smarter you get, I think, the more you realize that it's like something great about Derrida is that I'm so sorry to whoever that was. Um, the, one of the one of the good things about Derrida. So the Der, Derrida is like a a pretty. Um, a pretty debated upon postmodern philosopher, right? And one of the things that's hard with Derrida is that his language is very precise and that you can't pin him down. He's a very purposefully airy speaker in that it's hard to frame his argumentation because there's always more to it because everything is not actually that, like very little is simple. Everything's simple, but everything's complex. It's, 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 one of those things where if you think it's simple, then it's probably not. And if you think it's complicated, it probably is. <laughs> you know? No, I switched to controller permanently. No. I just play what I want when I want. I'm called Kristen, Christian, Kirsten, and Kirsten. Kirsten and Kirsten. Oh, I see. It's all okay. Well, no problem, Crushal. Rob Deerdeck is a philosopher. Derrida. Rock Derrida. That'd be that'd be a fun one for you to get into next, Michael, if you want to get into some of the kind of some of the, the notable philosophers of our era. I would recommend. Derrida's an interesting one, but I don't know. He's a little tough. Um, 
I'm a big Emmanuel Kant fan. And he is also very tough, but he's German tough, which is a different kind of tough than French tough. I sense on controller. If someone else knows, just reply. I don't want to be the one millionth person to ask. Don't worry. It's still in triple digits. Uh, gotta drive you back in 20. Gotcha. 4 2 linear, small dead zone, but I'm thinking about switching back to 4 3. It's like. 4 2 is just kind of slow. Linear small dead zone. Thanks, man. I always wanted one of those. Glad you got my name right first time you said it. I, uh, usually the first time makes it or breaks it for people. Mm -hmm. Try and enjoy reading philosophy as much as learn topics. Maybe you're wrong on that. Yeah, yeah, I give it a try. I would watch them. Um, I like uh, Michael Sugra, his philosophy lectures. Um, he has like one of the best lectures on Marcus Aurelius I've ever watched and I would say that those are as great as being able to kind of learn the basics without having to get too bogged down in the technical literature you know because it is really hard when you get into like being in time by Heidegger it's like those those are tough texts they're really good I like Hegel's phenomenology of spirit like they're all really good it's just they get harder and harder and you can get really lost in the technicality when in reality it doesn't matter some of my favorite like pre-socratic philosophers though they're crazy people um if you want to talk about uh like pythagora of the pythagorean theorem he believed in reincarnation and therefore would not let his followers eat beans because he believed that they contained the spirit of the spirits of the dead okay um because one time he saw his neighbor wailing on a dog and heard his dead friend speak to him through the dog and was like oh my god reincarnation's real that's my friend not a dog and uh <laughs> and then was like that must mean that souls are in beans so then he would no longer eat beans i was a vegetarian um, it's weird. I don't understand how legumes got the specific denotation of having souls and a cabbage didn't, but whatever. And he later was chased out because they thought he was going to be oppressive. Like his followers were going to be a progressive regime or a, a, a oppressive regime. And an angry mob chased him to the edge of a bean field where he stood there because he would not cross it because he would not step on the beans. And then he got his throat slit. <laughs> so, you know. That's the guy that Gladiator is based on. You know, I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, someone might know. I've never seen the movie, and I've heard, like, there's a really, like, he dies randomly or something. He gets assassinated, which isn't true. Technically, historically, Marcus really has died from the plague. So he was schizophrenic? It might have been. Not a bad guess. Weird dude. A lot of the pre-Socratics believed in... Like, they shouldn't eat things because they contain souls. Um, one of them, I don't remember his name. Uh, Amenzies? Uh, Amen Something like that. Um, he wouldn't eat fish because he believed that we were... We evolved from... It evolved isn't the right word. Because technically, it wasn't a precursor to evolution. It would have been really cool. Uh, like, there, there, the, the, the kind of opinion held by the philosophy community was he was not in fact the early darwin is that he just kind of thought we used to be fish and then weren't all of a sudden and so he wouldn't eat fish because he believed they were our ancestors not from a like 
evolutionary standpoint, just to like, uh, yep, they're our ancestors, so can't eat them. And, but would happily eat other meat, which is weird, because you'd think that, whatever. Anyways. I feel under complex. Under complex, complex problems will become simpler, and overcomplicating simple things will drive you loco. That's how my brain works. I don't know why or how. I find myself other people find me either too abrasive or overly friendly, but my attitude towards people definitely solely on their attitude. I don't know. Does it make sense? I suppose it doesn't need to make sense if it makes dollars. Tomatoes scream when you pick them up. I wholeheartedly believe that. My goldfish is most likely my granny type. Sure. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> oh man. Destroyed. No. Do you really like me? Do you really like me? To me. Love me. Oh, I gotta take my dog out. So sorry, buddy. I'm coming. After this game, I'm going to leave you. for the day so I don't forget one later on yeah that the same guy that made the Pythagorean theorem and also like music notes is so cool the Pythagoreans were the ones who figured out the um, different length strings in mathematic increments struck harmonic struck harmonically I'm sure the right way to say that super cool does indeed make dollars unique first life I'm Jenna X after all? Oh man, so sorry, I'm just kidding. And we've got a whole 45 seconds of free time. Over there. Really? Don't care. Not far from Mad Dog really cares, though. So I think we should go. You care like that, Mad Dog? Alright, my man. Let's see what they got. Put them on scan, King.
Let's go team. All you guys. All you guys. Run! Don't let it touch you. It's bad for your colon carcinogens in the zone. That's how it kills you. It doesn't actually kill you immediately. But there's carcinogens in the in the ring. That's how they get you. Her. Hers. Aha. Hers. Whoa. I gave you a chance and you blew it. Would you say you are where you should and want to be in life currently? Should be yes, because there is no other place than where you are. Um, want to be? Absolutely not. You should always strive for up. I have a very, I think we talked about this before, a very home run swing at life approach where what's the point of not swinging for home runs? You only get one life. Might as well go for it. And a home run swing might to you look like working a job you like for, you know, 60 years and then retiring. Like there's no limit to where your home run swing is, but you should go for it. All 10 minutes, got a new book to read and we Garrett philosophy chat. That's a good, that's a good 10 minutes. That was a good 10 minutes to be here. I have to go take my dog out to the bathroom because I love him and don't want him to pee on the ground. So I will be back. Okay. I'll be back in like, Four minutes and 17 seconds. So give me a moment. Buddy.
I say? That wasn't even four minutes and 17 seconds. <sighs> Dang. Look at me go. Because sometimes we swing for home run and waste time aiming for the impossible. Well, the impossible is very relative, right? Um, like, I'm not going to be a famous basketball player anytime soon, right? My dream was really to be a famous basketball player. Just not going to... Me playing almost no basketball up until now is... Probably not a good indicator of my basketball playing abilities. However, I would say the large asterisk that comes with the home run swing approach is that you can't swing for a home run without having the strength, technique, and ability to hit one, right? So you have to play the game one, so you have to be in the right game. Because if you're not in the right game, you're not even swinging. You have to have the actual power to hit a home run for distance. You can say the physical ability, right? And you have to have the technical ability, which is like your mental capability of swinging for a home run. So you have to analyze the fact, like, are you actually capable of hitting a home run or should you aim for a double or a triple? Or, you know, like, what are you actually swinging for? It's not just a metaphor of like, pick the largest thing you can think of and go for that. It's to work hard to generate the skills that lead you to your highest possible conception. It's not as simple as just, oh, I'm going to be a bajillionaire and I'm going to be the next Elon Musk. Like, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not quite the same thing. It's essentially, in my eyes, a metaphor for what is the highest potential that you can reach and then aiming for your highest potential that you can conceptualize, which takes into account your relative strengths and weaknesses. Like, I'm not a good singer, so I would like to be a famous artist. Singer artist, that'd be fun. Like, uh, not really, but like, it'd be cool, right? Um, but like, I'm just not that good at singing and I'm never gonna actualize that dream by never practicing singing. So that's important. Like, that's important to keep in mind. But I bet I'd be a pretty halfway decent singer if I tried for a long time. Like, if I always, if I practiced every single day, I'd get a lot better, you know? And so, maybe that's hitting a double. Maybe I'd just get really good at singing. I'd be able to do that for friends and family, and people would appreciate it, you know? Um, my manager, Zach, for a long time, he's very talented at singing. And for a long time... There was, that was just it. Like, he was just good at singing. That was just a thing he could do to surprise people. Does not look like he should be as good at singing as he is. He's fantastic. Now he makes music, you know? And it's doing really well. He's he's popping off really hard. But it's like, that was very latent. But it's one of those things where he was like, no, this is still like... Ensemble around. There, there are limitations to that conceptualized idea, or I should say asterisks to it. I, I understand that when I say that, a lot of people are like, "Hmm, aim for the fences." And if you don't, because remember, the best thing to do is not to strike out if you miss. It's to hit a double or hit a triple, right? Hit a single, get on base. It's like you might not hit a home run, but. If you swing for a way in, that is technically accurate, you will at least put the ball in play. Where am I at in ranked? I'm a plat two and I'm proud. I've not played ranked this season. That's a lie. I played one game and got second. I'm so sorry I lied to you, Andrew. This 
is your champion. Jumpmaster, I'd say fasten your seatbelts, but it's not that kind of ride. <laughs> Dude, sometimes you might swing way too hard and miss the smart things like technique and all. Mm, but that's what batting practice is for. Like, sure, you might miss. You know. But you'll also never hit a home run if all you try and do is bunt. Now, maybe all you're trying to do is get on first base, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Got that new digital 2x optic. So like you to D1. I should. I'm not going to. But I should. You know what? I'd rather res you with my seven seconds. I'd rather spend more than that. My bad team. They have the surgical precision of a strike squad. My apologies. Spiritual miracle, miracle. Safety first, dears. And then, of course, uh, utter me him. There's a win out there waiting for us. Strongberg, Hexen. It's something you would put a lot of time in that you found a waste. It's something that I did put a lot of time in that I found a waste. This is only the beginning. Uh, God, there's some not nice answers to this. Um, it's like something you put a lot of time into that you found a waste. Uh, honestly, fortunately, I can say not a lot. There's not a lot that comes to mind for that. Um, like but like still it's like there's very little like I have pretty much zero regret in how I've conducted my life so far pretty much zero there's pretty you know that's, that's on back but um I think that kind of goes hand in hand with being a little I suppose you could say indifferent about. There's not. I mean, like, there's some random things. Like I probably didn't have to go to school for two years, but I did. You know, and like I don't. That's fine. I learned what it was like to like really grind that way. I've referenced this before. I will reference it again. But when I was grinding for partner, I streamed 300 hours a month. Nearly. Um, 10 plus hour streams every day while going to school. No days off. And I still was going to class and 
you know so it's like here's a good give him advice oh, I'm with where I'm at now no advice needed I like the, the problem with that question is I get too concerned about the side effects that I don't know you know I, I don't know the side effects of the advice that I'd give so I'd prefer just to not give it because I'm too happy with where I'm at currently hmm. advice is usually you have to be careful it's usually always it's always meant in good um, it's always meant in good I, I guess maybe like read more earlier like I wish I started reading earlier maybe or I wish I had been stuck with an instrument longer but like those are pretty minuscule things it's like I wish I had started practicing the piano when I was younger um I, I wish I was better at music but I still play the uke and I'm still good at the uke you know um I wish I started reading earlier I didn't really start reading until I was 20, 20. Like late into my 20th year. So, um, or I guess, no, late into my 19s. Early 20s? Late 19s, early 20s? Somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, like, you, you never know the side effects of that. Like, maybe I want to tell myself, ah, oh, read more, and then I, like, end up reading more, and then I'm like, hmm, I'm going to quit streaming, and I'm like, wait, no, I didn't mean for that, you know? Because, like, you never know the side effects, so, I don't, I don't, it's too large of a decision matrix for me to actually be able to properly understand it. Sent me lurking while eating my food. I know you ordered Chinese, but what did you get? Maybe like don't listen to sad music. <laughs> like just skip that part. Probably wouldn't be. That one might do more good than harm. Or like stop. Don't. Don't give up on your fit. Yeah, but even still, it's like you know I don't. I can say like don't put a gap in your fitness career. It's too hard. What's up, Sebastian? Laser sight here, level two. Laser sight here, level two. Saving more. Half the squad remains. Yeah, like when it comes and goes, and I'm a confident in my ability to make more, so. It's another one of those where it's like, yeah, I could save more, but like, I, I, all the purchases that I would have probably, there's, there's a couple things where I don't actually know the outcome of them yet. So they might be something that I regret, but even still the lesson is probably worth the price paid for it. Um, it would be an expensive lesson if it doesn't pan out, but thoughts on caustic serum skin. Cool concept. L because it's on caustic. Got all the bad things. Crab Rangoons, General Sow, and some sesame chicken. Ooh. Champions no yeah. part of the data pool, also, I wish I took a minute to purchase life at a young age. Yeah, I would say I was a little... I don't want to say wrapped up in materialism. I was honestly good. And I learned that lesson super quick. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, you know, I have my one, like, stupidly overpriced cardigan. And it's like, yeah, I was no happier for owning it. And I was like, wow, this was a waste of money. <laughs> like, an enormous waste of money. So, But you have to waste money on something to know that it's a waste. Like, maybe you know inherently that it's a waste, but, you know, I learned that lesson quick enough for, like... You know, there was a lot of times I said I was going to do stuff, and... Didn't follow through with them as well as I could have, but... It's like you have to make that mistake to know the importance of following through with it and so yeah. Am I saying I've matured? Barely. What's the topic of discussion? What would you tell yourself like ten years ago if you could give your past self advice? 
Yeah, well, the nice thing about living in a minimalist approach is that it's way less expensive to do that. As in, it's only cheaper to do that. So if you've made it this far, then you can keep going further. It's really hard to go from a minimalist approach to being like, F it, I'm gonna waste money on everything. You know, like, I'm going to buy all the useless materialist items. I want the... I want the 911, and I want the Ferrari, and I want the Gucci, Fendi, Louis, and I, you know. Get evaluated for ADHD. Now that's good, that's good advice. Or are you telling me to? In which case, I think you're answering the question and not telling me to. Um, I almost did. And then I was like, nah, I don't care. And then I didn't. <sighs> was it a 1920 Cardi though? Worth it. It was not, that'd be pretty, Pretty OG. No, it was um a Balenciaga print cardigan, which uh, everyone burned all their Balenciaga, and I was like, damn, well, that's unlucky. And can't even wear that out in public anymore. Um, so no, I tell myself that. Gotcha. That's a great example of that. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ooh, I have an answer. I have one. I did. Well, actually, I still no. So I was going to say, um, okay. <laughs> don't despair. You are able to endure. Nah, I want my younger son. <laughs> my younger son better despair. Uh, he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't have made changes unless he was going through some shit. Um, that it was necessary. It sucked, but it was necessary. Same to this answer. So I'm entirely B12 deficient, right? Um, my body does not produce methylated B12 at all, so I have to take it. And I lived the first 19 years of my life with no B12, which isn't good if you know a lot about B12 is that it's pretty good for you. Damn. I feel like I did a lot there. Anyways, um... The problem is, is that it would be great to mm, ult them, Horizon. I did 400 damage instead. Might be wealth equals wealth. Yeah. The problem is, is that I wouldn't have suffered as much as I did, so I wouldn't have made the changes that I did if I knew that earlier. I probably would have been all happy and like, ah, I'll go through school. I don't know. <laughs> like part of the part of the side effect of me pushing myself so hard in gaming was because I was doing so poorly with like sleeping in school and all this stuff. And um, part of that reason was because I just didn't have B12 in my body. It's kind of hard to regulate yourself without it. And like, that's what I'm saying. It's too, there's too many, the, the fractalization of, reality based on one fundamental change is too large for me to confidently say that i tell my younger self anything i'm far too happy with where i'm currently at <laughs> i might ruin it <laughs> what if i like did that what if i was like that's my answer i'd tell my younger self to i'd i'd uh tell myself that I'm B12 deficient and to get tested for that. And then. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this ring's got a date with me, myself, and I. With all of us. Is your champion. Knock, knock. Gibraltar's at the door. <laughs> Job master. As above, so below. This might be a good place to land, but what do I know? Mm -hmm. 
Be beneficial for anyone else. That's true. I know. I'm just saying. I was just thinking about it. You don't have to change your answer for you. I'm just perfectly okay with letting my best self suffer. cliche but tomorrow is a new day well that it is unless you are bill murray in the 1981 hit classic groundhog day in which case it is the same day so unless you are in that scenario then yes it is a new day i just happen to love that movie New day, I'm not a fan of the ideas that we plan for the future, not everyone sees them as the best. I suppose. It's entirely what you want to take from it, though. And if you don't want to take that from it, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. Up, There are sometimes where it's worth saying and sometimes where it's not. It just depends. Oops. Another soft landing. I am taking fire, friends. Down. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it really depends on your what you want to take from that, not as much of the... to say it's a sight problem, but it's certainly not a solution. Get 
Introducing your champion. Violence for science. Oh, quite the catchphrase that. <laughs> But it's not that kind of round. This cat just ran away, but a fun night. This doesn't sound like a fun night at all. Very sorry to hear that. Man. The thumbs did not work for me. Too. break how about some great games today thank you so much we had a good lunch thank you for spending it with me my friend do you believe you meet people in a faith way for a reason um Kind of two answers. One of them is that, from a faith perspective, yeah, I think people play roles in your life for reasons. Um, and then if you want to take even the agnostic approach for it, it's like, even if it is all random and it's just like you happen to. So like, I think it's more or less everyone in your life has a purpose and it's whether or not you accept the lessons or learn from them. So it's not that it was for a reason. It's more or less just like, do you want to accept the lessons that people are trying to teach you for better or worse? Like some people are there to teach you really shitty lessons. It's really unfortunate lessons, you know, that you don't really want to learn. Oh, that would have been sick. seems to care. Just got up, man.
That is a harsh way to look at it, Kyle, but it is up to your interpretation of the day. A random new SpaceX launch and subsequently exploded their first full stack Starship prototype. Did it explode? I thought it was a successful launch. And so it's kind of if you've never placed back, do you feel they play a big role in your life somewhere or another? Or is the combos just a pastime more or less? Hmm. I would say in general, most of the streaming conversation there's very few streaming conversations while I've been live that have taught me much. Um it's just like it's just very surface level. Um I would say it was a successful launch. Good. Let's go me. Um everything after getting off the launch pad was a bonus. Oh, <laughs> That's a great quote. I would say, Michael, that I have learned a lot from things off of stream. And I am always thankful for that. Probably as many good as bad. And streaming kind of sucks, the social aspect of it. It's really hard because you're inherently kind of, you inherently benefit from becoming friends with a larger streamer, right? But you also want to just have friends. And if you're a larger streamer, then it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, oh, do they actually want to be my friend or do they just like, and it's hard because half the time you just get exposed to those people because they're a larger streamer. And it's like, I, I, I know a lot of people probably think this, um, where it's like, I think me and Garrett would get along great. And it's like, And it's like, yeah, that's true. But just the nature of me being a streamer makes things weird. Well, it's like, how much of that is like, Um, do you like me or my size? Well, it's like, it's hard because a lot of people just get exposed to you by the nature of you being a streamer. Challenge to have a social life outside of your streaming job. Oh, I just don't. Yeah, it's very simple. Have you experienced size prejudice before? Oh yeah. One time, <laughs> like, like to the point, it, it, it's, it's all over. Um, even to the point where because it, it's like one of those things where i think you would legit like a lot of people i think would legitimately like me but there's a stigma for being a facebook streamer where it's just not really actually that most of the people who deal with like very large scale stuff it's just kind of irrelevant to them because they only deal in the large two of youtube and purple platform right so like sometimes i've been like subsequently invited because they like have to because of the group that i'm with which is always kind of one of those where it's like ah, sick man thanks i'm sure you really want me to be here you know i'm just eating one of your slots my bad um but then you also get the reverse where people really go out of your way to like when people invite you it's because they really do that's part of it is that i get pretty much the um like one time Anthony invited me, or so when I went to Shroud's movie night, it was because of Prizzy invited me, right? And he has no reason to other than the fact that he's legitimately a stand-up dude. Like Prizzy's a great guy. And he just like, we're just like actual friends, you know? And so that's like one of those where it, like you realize it and you're like, God damn, that's, that's pretty cool, you know? And they're standing on the other side as well. Tough to have good combos with streamers, but then you wonder, are they in it for the content or entertaining you to entertain you or the extra interested in topics? I will say I'm very, I mean, you can see what happens when I'm not interested in something. I just stop talking, but um, yeah. Uh, but then there's the other side of that uh, before I forget this conversation where like I will be part of something and then we'll all submit to be approved for an event and then all get denied. And it's like, wow, that feels cool. Uh, it's inspiring, you know, it never will feel good. 
Um, and then they have to explain, no, like, we're all a group. You can't really deny him. It's like, them, none of us will go, which, you know, some rider dies for that reason, but. <laughs> so I'm out of time to catch you with you know my son was born and he is now three weeks old time flies keep the great work well congratulations kevin thank you very much for updating me that was awesome i'm so glad so glad that was awesome congratulations not pointing fingers at all but just always wondered that yeah it's tough it's like the social aspect of streaming kind of sucks because it's really tough to distinguish where it's like are we actually friends or do we just play the same game together or you know it's like oh, what what are we you know it's it's actually a real problem a lot of the time where you don't really know the boundaries of that where it's like it feels like you're friends and it's like no we just stream together man i don't actually i don't know you little bro and it's like oh um hello And I do not use the 301. Okay. It's not good. stop streaming i always wondered if they remember their chat or does chat not really matter to them when they stop streaming um i can i can speak for streamers no like not not no as in you never really forget i would say a lot of people there, there's a difference right a lot of people overestimate right where it's like like it's still kind of a online exchange let's keep it within reason you know it's like you don't have the right to like ask where I'm at now to like hang out. It's like trying to ask your teacher on a date when you graduate, you know, it's just kind of like, like technically, yeah, but no, let's not do that, you know? Um, but at the same time, you still don't forget them. You know, I, I promise you guys, even after I eventually stopped streaming, like your names are burned into my memory forever. I have a very good memory and Um, the mix of your profile picture and first name is burned into my brain permanently. I know almost none of your last names. <laughs> if you're curious about that, it's only profile picture, first name. That's why I get mad when people change their profile pictures. Not actually mad, but like, it's why I don't recognize people immediately when they change their profile pictures. Cause I'm like, ah, first name, profile picture. That doesn't sync up. Means you want to hang out? I want to say, man, late to the party. I think it was a 200 Philip. So is this like a date or? <laughs> Christian. Ah, yes, Christian. Christian Johnson. I'm a revolutionary. It ain't revolutionary. Don't worry. But yeah. I won't go your way. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't know. The problem is, is you have to think about it this way. There hasn't streaming hasn't been a career for very long, so. It's really hard to tell. I think streaming is inherently kind of negative for your health, though. 
mental and physical. Uh, it's not really a super smart career choice in my mind. <laughs> it's like, it's just like, well, you're always flipping a lottery coin of if it's going to be a good stream or a bad stream. Like, and, and the bad ones, like, the good ones are really good, so it kind of makes the average a little on the bad side. It's hard to be like, ah, oh, yes, it was an okay day and therefore good. Um, it's either usually days are either good or bad. And then you have to put up with a lot. Hey, my man got have a car. This guy was really hard to keep in touch with people that used to stop by a lot in chat. This is a stop by. I find that I want to see what they're up to. Yeah, there's always that wonder. Oh, uh, I suppose it depends. Um, like, um, when I say depends, it's like I've had a lot of people already kind of come and go in chat just over having streamed so long. Come here. So I suppose I'm already kind of used to people just drifting in and out. I'm already, I'm already kind of a, like a, your earlier question where it's like, are people there for a reason? I'm perfectly okay with people drifting out of my life. Like that's fine to me. A lot of people get really sad about that. I miss him. It's like, oh no, like, we don't talk anymore. It's like, yeah. Like people are there and if they don't want to make an effort and I don't want to make an effort, you know, there's it's whatever. It's like. Everyone lives their own busy life, and I suppose that's part of, maybe that's only child syndrome talking, where it's like, I just don't really mind being alone, but, um, I have my, I have my, my base friends that never go away, and I'm perfectly happy with just those couple, and, you know, any on top of that is just the bonus. Nice. Your streaming workout content it's actually physically awful for your body to stream like to be a workout influencer is awful it's really hard because you have to keep yourself in like almost striking to competition shape all year round so it's actually probably harder on your body to be a fitness influence like yeah you'll be in great shape but the stress on your body involved in that is really tough like, unless that's already your thing, unless you're... Unless you're already, you know, unless you're already C-bomb or something. Out there with you, aside from my family. Yeah, family, of course. It's like... They're never going anywhere, so... Meant to live life alone and lonely? Mm, you're not meant to be alone and lonely, but you're... It's okay to have, like, six or seven people. Or like 10 people that you keep as like a base you know what i mean it's like hierarchy of needs and you can kind of move the asterisks whenever you want what's up tyra never thought about it like that yeah well think um alex eubank for instance he's kind of an up-and-coming fitness influencer and his test levels crashed to the point where i got scared and got my test levels checked testosterone levels checked and uh like his crash to like 80 year old levels he was at like 250 or something insane like he was thinking about hopping on a trt for it and uh part of that was just because he was so stressed out trying to have this content pop off and pushing himself to be as lean as he can for as long as he can and you know it's awful on your body it's really hard Because I have children and a fiance, I don't really want to stop talking slash being with them. That's that's fair. Yeah, I probably wouldn't expect that from you. Otherwise, I'm perfectly fine being alone. Yeah, well, it's like, I think it's good to have people who have always known you as part of it, which you don't have to. I think it's good. It's like one of those things where it's like, you know, being in amazing shape is good, but not. It's not. It's it's difficult, and part of the difficulty in that is cultivating those relationships to be so long term because you lose them and they're kind of gone and then it's like it's hard to get back um or like even if you should care about getting them back like some of them you just shouldn't care about but i'm very lucky to have some base friends that 
have been my friends for my entire life and will always be my friends for my entire life. And I do not plan on letting that change, you know? And as far as I know, and as far as their actions indicate, they don't plan on that anytime soon either, you know? Like they travel states just to visit me because I'm busy and, you know, it's like, I'm just very, very lucky to have friends like that. And yeah, no fiance or children, so um, I can, I suppose, isolate myself in that aspect. I don't have to be like, oh, I need to spend time with the kids I don't have this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also 22, to be fair. So, end of the day, I enjoyed a lot of our deep combos because it helps refresh and elevate my train of thoughts based on what I've been thinking of. Yeah, it's always good, man. It's like, um, thinking really is a muscle and it, it's stifling to not be able to use it. I understand exactly what you mean. My back hurts. I did a lot of back stuff to today. Got on drugs and drift away, so friends are my birds. Yeah, there is no sh no problem in there is no problem in getting rid of friends that go too hard into drugs. That's for sure. Oh my lobby! I don't care anymore. This is awful. 4.9 GPA in school? <laughs> ah, trick question. I almost failed high school. <laughs> but if you can guess, I'm just not a very agreeable person and wasn't going to do work I didn't see points in, so. I did graduate high school though, so shout out me. I did fail high school. No shame for me there. You do you. Ah, so we talked about. Cool. I almost failed high school. I also had a terrible GPA in college, but that insinuates that you graduated college. So, D's get degrees. Amen. Plus up. Unless you dropped out, in which case F's don't. But it's all good. I don't really. I I don't think you could find many people who care less about school accolades than me, so. I answered it the last time we were talking about correlating with you. But correlating with why you would stream, would you rather someone come in and be active and engaged or someone that puts money towards your stream? I try not to be concerned with how people want to enjoy my stream. And that was something where... Interacting in any way, even watching, is appreciated. So, if you lurk and say nothing, I appreciate you. If you donate money, I appreciate you. You know, if you chat a bunch and like get people talking, I appreciate you. It's like, however people want to interact. It's not really a part, like none of them are, you know, it's like, I just prefer they enjoy it. Like, maybe if you sit there and hate me the whole time, then it's like, why are you watching? Just like, well, but maybe, you know, maybe you need some, like, negative influence where you're like, I hate Garrett so much that it's encouraging me to get my life together in spite of him so that I can be richer than him. It's like, then go for it, you know? Yeah, just like, just, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know? Um, 
As long as you're just a chill member of the community, it's like, no worries. No worries. Yeah, it's still wild to me that I've gotten to do this so long and not have, you know, not have to deal with so much of that. It's like even some of the, some of the greats in the Apex scene have retired over time just because it's like they can't financially sustain it. It's, Pretty humbling that I've been able to for so long. Ow. Oh. He's still watching me. Very well put. Thank you. I try. Should I live so I had to heal and move on? That was awesome. That was, that was, that was awesome that you've, you've made it out of that. That's very impressive. Yeah, I imagine it's probably a good indicator as to why you can't keep those same friends, yeah. In the door I had no clue. I was looking at one for a Phoenix, to be honest. Hi, <sighs> but I wanted to know myself, know I love life and appreciate it no matter what happened in the past. That's so awesome, Tara. Congratulations. That is truly like one of the one of the toughest things. I just respect the hell out of you for that. That was awesome. I am Blood Hunter. You can call me Bloodhound. We will defeat all of our enemies. Science time. Oh, Yaldi. Is your champion. Ah! 
you prepared for your end? I have. Reckon we ought to land over there, dears. Brains from relaxing and break from thinking. Enjoy the night. Remember, you're amazing. Never change. I'll do my best to only change for the better, my friend. I hope for you to do the same. Oh, he slid. I feel like this game requires more of my mental capacity now and it saddens me. Less? More? Ah, <sighs> more, I suppose. Say so. <laughs> Playing ranked this season, heard a lot of people aren't. I have played one game of ranked this season. So, most played season yet. I'm currently plat two. Christian, no, you're handsome. I 
really wish they'd make all burst guns full auto like the Nemesis because it's definitely just better. Not full auto, full auto, but burst fire full auto. Because it's really annoying to squeeze the trigger each time or click down each time. It'd be a lot easier if you could just hold it down. Is there a specific reason why no ranks? Uh, low tide. I could use that. Just kidding. Um, tons of cheaters and tons of DDoSing. It's like, like, like the most cheaters and DDoSing time. there's been in a long time. And it's like, if they're not going to care about ranked, I don't really care about ranked. It's whatever. I don't really want to play anyways. I can hold down on PS4. I'm gonna ask you to be more specific about that question. A broken enemy shield. That would have been really cool if that kick actually worked. Nemesis all you can hold R1 instead of constantly pressing. Oh, yeah. Nemesis is a full auto gun. It just is a burst full auto. Look at that, number one educational stream in it. All of NA. And all of EU technically, but I don't think there's any educational streams in EU. Three, four, one, two, three. Ah, Moki, never mind. He wins. Who's texting me? Asked me if I wanted anything from. Hmm. I don't know. By hell. I'm like is so good. Underrated, but for sure. <sighs> Do I want anything from local chain? Insert here. No, okay. Thank you. Recharging my shields. Ten seconds. The ring's close, and we're cutting it. Well, close. Mm -hmm. 
like you inside. I'm stuck up on the outside. I try to stay behind and know why. Thoughts on the single fire hemlock? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, Chief. Just throw that first. Like, come on. I don't think you're getting that in single fire. Um, it's so steady now with the upgrades. Or it's just like, it's just steady, you know? Like, super long range, sure, but you probably shouldn't be burning ammo for it, anyways. I'm so sorry. I'm poor kitty. I'm sorry to hear about your feeling friend. My condolences. It's like whatever works for you, Kevin, but... Um... This is not a single player guy. It's not like it. I just do whatever you like, but... I think it's worth it to get good with burst fire. Answer stuff a lot. I'm glad he's in peace. Hmm. It's hard to say goodbye, but sometimes it really is for the best. I almost had that. We used DLCs, I was 4 3 linear, but I said DLCs just so much things with linear supposed to be, and it still feels better to me, so just curious. Yeah, I use 4 3 linear as well. Um, I, I like. I've used ALCs, Snowden Sheep. Uh, 
I have used 4.3 Linear. Um, I've used 4.3 Classic. I've used 17.17. Just kidding. It's just whatever feels good. None of it matters. Just do what you want. You know what I mean? Thanks, Austin. What's up, Jazam? Did I get that? I was just wondering. Just whatever feels good, go for it. Introducing your champion. Violence or science. I don't like this, I don't like this. I am done with Apex for today. What do we do now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I'm 
Andrew. But... Mm -hmm. I'm just friends. Alone again. I can't wait I go back home with my eyes closed. Maybe gonna hurt to see if no surprise though. If I mean, I learned that I can hold myself up to kind of then I roll off. I remember, yes, I remember, yes, I remember it all. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Good. Before we start, however, keep in mind mm. that although fun and learning are the primary tools of enrichment and activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from eating. <laughs> The portal will open in three. I'm going for the radio toss. One. No! I got it, it's just not sideways. No, my radio, dude. Proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment mm -hmm. that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science super colliding super bottom. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate mm -hmm. dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Mm -hmm. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science Hello, Mr. Portal Portal device. I missed you. With it, you can create mm -hmm. your own portal. These interdimensional mm -hmm. gates have proven to be... Yeah, ben, they give it a one year and ten months, dude. Absolutely wild. Not, Appreciate you. Do not touch the operational mm -hmm. end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end. 
operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid. Well then, remember, the aperture signs bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. True. <laughs> Required test protocol. We will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Mm. Yeah, man. Give me that. Give me the cube. Give me that. Are you serious? As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would that is just unfortunate. was an outright fabrication. Really wanted that cube. Good job. Thank As you. part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two. <laughs> little, little. No radio hop. That's cool. That was cool. I had no idea what I did there. While safety is one of oh, many boy. management center goals, the aperture science high Just energy pissed. pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent mm -hmm. disabilities mm -hmm. such as tremorization. Please be careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But duh. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Whoa, I even fit through that? Oh my god. Oh, 
for two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device there. is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call here. Hey, get that. Did I finish portal two? Yeah. As part of a hey, don't get to see because you're gonna play it. Supposed to finish portal to you. Too bad. I already deleted the VOD. So sometimes you were gonna play the game. Play the game. It's way more fun when you do it. Trust me. The enrichment center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and grief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. playing through the witch queen campaign on destiny 2 with my homie that's fun that's a really good campaign i liked that one a lot actually i played through that with jason and i enjoyed it a lot due to mandatory scheduled maintenance the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable it has been replaced with a live fire course designed for military androids the enrichment center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck Everyone says it's amazing and I'm excited. I'm just kidding, it's terrible. Just kidding again, it's great. That's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe. It's not real. They can speak. They can love. Bye bye. Chinese food was delicious. Definitely wanted some. Congratulations. That is a handsome gamer right there. 
Big W. What? I don't even know how that happens. I like legitimately have no idea how that happened. And the cubes can love. That's why they're companion cubes. That's why they have hearts on them. I didn't mean to shoot that portal. That's why. God. Yup. Ooh, first try. Yum. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. For more information, please attend an Enrichment Center Electrical Safety Seminar. <laughs> Welcome to the final test. When you are done, you will drop the device in the Equipment Recovery Annex. Enrichment Center regulations require both hands to be empty before any cake Congratulations, the test is now over. All aperture technologies remain safely operational up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Best assured that there is absolutely no chance of a dangerous equipment malfunction prior to your victory incandescence. Thank you for participating in this Aperture Science computer-aided enrichment activity. Goodbye. What are you doing? Stop it. Hi. Hi. We are pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. We are very, very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous <laughs> success. Get me up there. Place the device on the ground. Sorry. Is anyone there? Santa, this is so satisfying to watch. Thank you. I worked really hard for a long time on this. And the sad thing is, is like I'm not even as good as I used to be. Like this is only half of my power. I just, I didn't get scammed, it was my fault, but, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, no, like a couple, I hope, I don't like you. Busy not hearing you. Like mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'm not
Almost. These turrets are so cute. Yeah, they kind of cute though. Thank you, turret. You have served your purpose. You managed to break so far is my heart. Good. That and we could just call it a day. We both know that isn't going to happen. Pat, I have a surprise for you. Find surprise in five, four. Goes the GLaDOS. What are those orbs you grab? They're cores. They're her different cores. So they're not supposed to be there. The reason they're there, so normally the boss fight, you have to use portals for, she'll shoot missiles at you and you have to use portals to like send the missiles at her. And if you hit her, she drops those cores. But I use the portal in the previous room and then stand on the edge. The reason I stand there and get shot by the turret is because it's damaging her. Her cores just float. No, they're attached to her normally. And you use the rockets to like dislodge them, right? But because I stand before the door, um, gone. You. Nope. because I do this, oh, I think I got that actually. I think that was that's definitely close enough. I want to see if that works. Because I set that, so I set that yellow portal down there, right? So if I go up, if I go up, you see her cores are on her currently, right? I shoot this portal here, and this is set up in front of a turret. So that when I come and stand right next to the, this is supposed to get rid of all the portals, right? But because I have the, it damages her. So I have the turret set up there, which means the cores drop before the damage phase, which isn't supposed to happen. So these are the things you're trying to get to destroy to like finish the game, you know? So, the cores are already on the ground by the time I get in here. Because the turret does damage to her, and it's not an amount of damage, because missiles would probably do a lot of damage. What gets rid of the portals? The, the door there. So any emancipation grid is what they're called, technically. So those blue waves, when it goes like, when it has the shimmer sound, those get rid of portals. <laughs> I like her. I don't actually know if there's an emancipation grid on zero. Hello and again, welcome to the So you cheat. No. It's not cheating. It's using portals in a way that they didn't intend. But perfectly legal. Shimmer wave thing. Yeah, so that, that clears all the portals. Because then you could have a portal in like the last chamber, which would be kind of weird. Right? So to circumvent that being a problem the shimmer thing gets rid of your portals on the ground so trying to prevent that the problem is is that you can set the portal in an angle with the turret there for it to hit her through it um because it's trying to shoot you and it's hitting her what's up Aaliyah? how are you how was your day um which isn't intended right Little rascal. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock. So that yeah, there was no portals down though, so it doesn't shimmer. But that's yeah, they do it one. The incandescent particle field, patient grid. It also gets rid of any cubes. 
Yeah, which is why you can't bring a cube with you into the next chamber. My day was good. How was yours? It was good. That's why there's no reason to worry about... Oh wow, that was really close. No reason to worry about bringing cubes through to the next chambers, because when you cross that grid, it gets rid of them anyways. That's why I'll bring, like, radios through it sometimes. Metal. Oh, metal. Hello. What's up, Matt? Crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Would you like me to ruin a little bit of your childhood, Matt, just for you? I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Are there any Easter eggs in either games? Oh yeah, there's a ton. You haven't even seen any of Cave Johnson's stuff. There's like hidden rooms in almost every chamber from like 12 to 19. And I got the cube toss too. As part of a required test and I didn't trust myself. Do the, the rampart skin for the upcoming the event? I've not seen it. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. A required test protocol. Our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. You're a person in an adjacent Good portal job. and it scares me. As part of a required test protocol, nope. we will stop enhancing the truth. You're with me, three, camera. Two. Let's see, when the, anything crosses that barrier, it gets fizzled. That's the technical term. I assume. Come on, get in there. There you go. Such as vaporization. God bless. I love vaporization. It was fizzled. have been found mm. to agitate a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Oh yeah, are we eating any sardines now? Hello sir. Um, the apple juice. I appreciate that. Very impressive. Now you can take that. that any appearance Thank you. Danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Was my father. Hello again. To reiterate, the previous light. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. 
clean, clean. test protocol we are pleased to present an amusing fact the device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in subject phone tower here get to Peter playing your tower when it laying into space Man, I just did that. I landed it. I didn't even, it didn't even bounce. I just straight got the door on it. Damn. Nice toss. I had to like run up and run up to it four times, but whatever. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from the field, I was not going to sit on there. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic cell and adrenaline. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided. That's one. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and group counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank no. you for help you help us all. Almost said that. Nope. try. Moving some laundry, which means a pile to fold shortly. Mm, it means moving does not mean folding. Two different things, for the record. It's tomorrow. Friday? The 21st. The vital apparatus stands to deliver a weighted companion cube in 3, 2, 1. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never hurt and disturb you again. <laughs> you did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. Messy, messy, However, messy. It cannot accompany you for the rest of the test. And good toss, though. You use eh, almost a good toss. A bump the wall. Or tomorrow. Record. Congratulations. I'll drink apple juice to that. The experiment is nearing its conclusion. 
the enrichment center that is required to remind you that you will be fed, and then there will be pain. Yeah, so first trick I've messed up this run. Sad. Cause so I had it too, it was right on the edge. You tell me that one's the one that's picky. Like, come on. This is no different. Devo. Well done. Be advised that the next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical plants. I was, I was zooming. I was cooking. Fun fact, this is one of two chambers that does not have a barrier on the elevator door when the level starts. That's the, that's the sad reality about running, though, is that it's like, technically, I didn't actually mess up a lot on this run, except for that one trick, assuming I don't mess anything else up, but all of it was like really messy, that, that's a good example of what I mean. Or like this, like, Jesus, jeez. What are you doing? Stop it. Hi. We are pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. We are very, very happy for your success. We are throwing a party in honor of your tremendous success. Place the device on the ground, then lie on your stomach with your arms at your side. Would you prefer messy or mess up? Uh, mess up, and the reason why is because it's um, less of a problem overall. Because it's like, messy means that I'm just off for the day, you know what I mean? Where if I just mess up, then it's whatever, because it's... Oh, I should glue. Um, because it's like, if I do a bunch of messy tricks, then I just kind of feel bad about my overall skill. Or if I mess up a trick, it's whatever. Like, that was messy, and it makes me a little more... Still messy, you know? Makes me a little more... I suppose you could say... I'd rather just mess up, because then it's like... That's fixable, but just doing it sloppily is more of an indication of skill. <laughs> You're not a good person. You know that, right? Good people don't end up here. Can you hear me? Is there being no barrier purposeful thing? Uh, oh, the door barrier? No, it's just like one of those weird little quirks the game has. I have no idea why. There's a couple weird ones, and that's one of them where it's just like, no one really knows. Hmm. 
a pretty good jump. This might be. Oh, that that is. Come on, get up there. No. Oh. Was most definitely enough. So you can do a thing where you can skip the second portal if the first jump through is far enough out and you get enough momentum to be able to place the portal in the right location and you can skip the hole. And then the rage cube, this one is the um, last cube or last core. And so you watch uh, is the um, last one that you make sure drops, otherwise they haven't all dropped. Yeah, the there is to go find the hydro instead of eating, so I don't know, but drinking my calories. Doesn't sound good. That was fun. Do you start to love this game when you got all the shortcuts or when you played it the intended way? I suppose the intended way, because that's when I like, I really loved this game from the start. Then I saw someone do a run and was like, oh my god, I have to learn that. And then I'd spent the next, the entirety of the summer and more just like learning the run and getting better at it. And then, uh, So. Not if you success. It's hard to state my satisfaction. Extra science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, the ones who are dead. By the people. I don't know where the by the people part comes in, but that's by the rookie. Oh, by the people who can figure these things out. I see. I don't know why that second message sent first. Did you correct yourself and then type it wrong? Because it showed up by the people and then the sentence you were trying to. So did you?
I did, and I swear that's just how it came. Likely story. I think you sent the correction and then the original. Lost Planet was such a good, Lost Planet 2 was such a good game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One day I will Google what Coachella is. Wait, really? Do that? Huh, that's cool. You just have no concept of what Coachella is? Nope. Hanger mm. game. Mm. What is Lost Planet 2? A video game. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it actually is. It's just a big festival of concerts. So like, they have a bunch of stages and then there's artists that play at each of the stages. So just a big music festival. Hmm. Hmm. A video game, I'm afraid we just should have one way cover. It's a game, it's like... It sounds huge. It is enormous. Yeah. It's like... Hundreds of thousands of people. Go. It is no... No... Rest for the Wicked. And I think you camp or something. It kind of sounds awful, to be honest. To me, it's just not my thing. Stardew Valley time, let's get it. I want to play Uno, but it won't let me. It crashes my computer every time I try to launch Uno. And then people do a lot of drugs too.
I should probably bunt the ball, otherwise I die. CPU, but come on, man. <laughs> Saw Stone play Nuna today, and I thought for sure friendships would be broken. I wish I could play Uno with them. I want to play Uno, but I can't. new shirt is that shirt that was printed my new shirt is at shirt that was printed If I can sign a dragon, this is marines. Oh, that's super dope. Oh, I missed my timing. Slow ball away from me. God, I did not expect that. Life went over death and life went over darkness. Was printed for the anniversary company. I love the middle of the war. Well, that's a very cool shirt. sad because Jet's my favorite character in the game, but she's also not that good. Yeah. 
Clearly so. so you didn't try hard enough. <laughs> hey, but I won. That was a pretty good mix up. Try harder. give other tips and just try harder uh, no that is Raptors thing maximum effort I was facing the wrong way oh my god so sad check this try harder for you. Oh, your secondary frame. Your achievement frame. I don't even remember what I have to do for your achievement frames. I'm almost done. Oh, I don't have any of you done. I don't have any of you done. Almost done. I'm gonna finish you. I wanted to be a completionist and unlock everything in the game. Is it supposed to sound like an arcade? Yeah. It's an arcade game, technically, so that's why that kind of sounds the way it does. Ordinary taste. Mm -hmm. Ordinary taste. Free play, free play, free play. When's CS2 gonna come out, man? Dredge. Originally it was an arcade? No. It's an arcade game, is in style, arcade style of game. It's an arcade fighter, which is a genre. I'd say that mimics the fighting games of arcades, but it's not actually an arcade cabinet game, even the original one. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, cool game. Okay, 
and I'm only not going to grab one. <laughs> sad about Uno now. As you should be. They're a cool game. I didn't play it, but I watched someone play it. Pretty much the same thing. <laughs> so enjoy watching you play against your mods. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Girls, girls, girls. It's our next game. Jacket on. That would be a good time. This game is cool too. I was interested in this game, but apparently you need a degree to understand it. It's apparently a very hard game. <laughs> Anime game. What the? My bad. So sorry. Um. <sighs> And the shirt that says, I'm not chunky, I'm pregnant. For my style, people can't tell. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Across here. Shit. Boy. Katsu. Katsu. I don't think there's anything more sad than scrolling down to the depths of the top trending. Wasn't this game cool? Oh, we looked at this game, I think. Not pregnant, just eating good would be a good shirt for a pregnant person. I don't want to play through Absolver again. Game is cool. Game is fire too. I'm excited on my clothes for a tad oddly, so the judgment is real. Hmm. 
Time to play through all of the Halo campaigns. Just kidding. I would die of boredom. <laughs> what makes a game good for you? I, you know, it is. <laughs> okay, thank God I have all the DLC. <laughs> You'll feel the pain. You'll feel the pain. <laughs> I, I don't know how, what's the best way to say, it? what makes a game good? I miss the answer. I saw it, it's just doobie. Uh, it's one of those things where usually it doesn't actually matter if the game is good or not. It's if I played it with my friends. It's like, there's a lot of games where I just like, like I loved For Honor, but I really loved For Honor when I was messing with, with my friends. We used to do a, a thing where we'd try and win a game. So in, in For Honor, in a control match or like a like a capture the point match like a domination match i don't remember what it was called you can't lose until you all die at the end so you all have to die for the game to be over so what we do is we'd sit on one point for the entire game just like farming that one point and i would be berserker my two friends would be shinobi the big boy and it was protect the president and then we'd eventually inevitably not be the first team to get to like the like the winning cap you know and then um and then we <laughs> and then we just try and see if we could win that way <laughs> and it worked sometimes but it was fun <laughs> Mm -hmm. So shenanigans or nostalgia? Yeah, I guess. There are some fundamentally good games, like CSGO, I'd say. It doesn't really matter, it's just a good game. But I do have a lot of memories with it. Um, like Portal, I just like it. It's just my kind of game. Uh, Destiny, it's... All the memories I have with friends. Um... I don't actually like a lot of games. Like, there's a lot of games I just don't really care for. Like, I'd, I'd be okay if I had never played Stardew Valley in my life, but I'd just play with friends. It's like a fun time waster. I don't mind it. But I don't particularly enjoy wasting time, so. Not pregnant or eating good. I'm a single occupant on my body and eating candy for dinner sometimes. Oh. But what candy? A cool game, too. Antichamber was a cool game. Underrated. I like some like silly games like Dr. Legoskov, the Tiger and the Terribly Cursed Emerald. Like it's just a really funny game. I'm here. I'm not. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Cadbury milk chocolate eggs tonight. Damn, living lavishly. I would like I was going to eat candy for dinner. It has to be The nerds clusters are insane. They're so good. Got them 75% off today. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Like, that's honestly a little unsettling. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I remember the 98 minutes we played this on stream and then I got bored and got off. I really wanted to learn how to speedrun this game too, and then I didn't. I had snack on refrigerated pepperonis over most candies out there. I can't say the same, but I certainly can't say I'm that. I just like don't, I don't like. I don't even particularly enjoy candy that much, but like. You know. pre-cooked fajita meat or just a raw tortilla tortillas are actually crazy calorie dense so like cluster nerds or the cluster nerd candy cluster nerd candy it's like a specific one it's not just like a handful of nerds it's like the cluster one um i really like sour haribo gummy bears as well but that sounds kind of nauseating to eat so is candy. I don't, yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like a lot of people don't know. What do you want from me, Tommy? What would you like from me? God, I said it's seven. No, it's not supposed to be seven days ago. So I'm stunned. A stomach courtesy of alcohol. So you like your candy how you like your friends? On rare occasions? Four nights London. Nothing. I want nothing, sir. I mean, that's fine. You can you can have nothing as well. Why oh, is Tommy yelling at me? <laughs> Rare and nerdy. It's kind of messed up, dude. All my friends are nerdy like that. It's kind of wild. They are, but only I get to call them at. 
telling you stories like how we got here. You were born, I'd spawned in. How was my day? It sure was. Thank you for asking, Ben. How was your day? I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner. I've not eaten dinner. Nor did I particularly eat breakfast. I got ass. Wait. I got ass. My stomach. I the same elementary school concert twice, back to back with my first grader and second grader. There's nothing left of me but pure salt smell. <laughs> I've been I'm telling you stories like how we got it. No, you're fine, Christina. Be the same as we expected. Thank you for the 50, Ben. I appreciate that. Poor Tommy. So sorry. So there was four grandparents that parked the wrong way in a one-way parking so the principal wouldn't start the concert until they moved or all chaos would break loose at the end. Oh. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not good. And I imagine they were very quick to get that sorted. The kids' performances, the dumb people around me I didn't care for. I'm really tired. I'm ready for my nap time. I wonder if I ever got that email. The important parts that you enjoyed the kids' performances? It's probably more important parts, to be honest. I imagine. All your yawning is wiping me out. I will be asleep in two hours, so can you blame me? Where's my brain? Ouch. Mm. You're worried that I don't know? I actually looked it up. She meant impressive. Impressive is not a word. Mm. I did look, though. Just trying to figure out the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crawling apart. No one cares for me. Send me. Chilling by death. Something faster. 
It is sleepy time, Tiff. Hello. Except me. Feeling bothered. There's something I said. It's kind of flattering, Christina. Both of us assumed you were smarter than us. No, I know she's read the dictionary. That's why. We have the benefit of the doubt. I have not read the dictionary. So. This one is ways. It's, uh. I would. I read it back in high school. Yeah, and I didn't read in high school, so. Except me. I need a sleepy time. I took my CBD. I'm ready to pass out. I'm listening to a song called CBD. Coincidence? I think not. I don't care because no one cares for me. So me. Because I may not know one singular word you haven't heard of. Yes, but have you beat Portal 2? Get back to me when you beat Portal 2. Then we can talk. I need a three letter word that starts with a Q and doesn't have a U. Okay. <laughs> Is there a word that's like an English word? A three letter word that has a Q and not a U? What? I know it's not K for the record. The dictionary is actually phenomenal though. Yeah, not much of a story, but very educational. Key. True. Good without her, Ben. I actually normally assume that. Oh, announced key. Our collection of designer toys created by Hong Kong based company a Toy 2R, founded by Raymond Choi in 1995. Technically a word, just not English. I don't see only have 736,000 monthly listeners. So underrated. Actually, probably because he hasn't released anything in a couple months. Flying away. Shame. No marks from colors left in your life got so great. See, this chat is so smart. No, I think he was trying to spell K without a U. I don't think he was referencing the Toy 2R Korean child toy. Unless you were, Ben, were you? I'll ask. No, I don't want to escape. Pop in my ego place. Turn me down on some times just to find out that I was a fake. I don't kiss until G. I want to know the answer to this. Key. 
Can I spell it? Two third words without a U. Q A T and Q I S. Q G P. Walk esque. Sick. What? None of these are even. Eight. That doesn't count. That's not a real word. I don't believe in them. I have never kissed, and I'm telling you guys in confidence. Well, I will never tell anyone. Does my cat count as anyone? I tell her everything. I should do some tired pecs in 30 minutes. Um, well, I'm going to get off in four. So. I wake up and I don't know how much more I can take. Thanks, I knew I could trust you. Always. Boo. You're the one who's late, dude. It's almost my bedtime. And no, I trust her too. Terrible mistake. She bites feet, but I'll let her know that you trust her. Maybe that'll influence her not to share. She doesn't go outside, so she can only really tell my mom and my dad that they are gossip. Gossipers, my mom and dad. I messed up. I listened to the four minute song when I should have listened to the six minute song because now I have two minutes and 30 seconds and I'm trying to listen to a six minute song. That just doesn't check out. Always getting close to the There's a maternity brand called Planet Motherhood. Hmm. And I know I'm going crazy. What hour are we going to uh, finish our conversation? Oh, God. That's a brutal one. That's creative conversation. Into Mother Earth concept or the fact there's a small moon by the end. Yep. I think they are calling you a planet, which is kind of mean. I'd write them a letter. What's my workout schedule look like for the week? Every other day. And I go in and I lift heavy stuff. Every day I just work on my arms, my shoulders, my back, and then sometimes my legs and my chest. And my lats. I just kind of do it all each time. Which isn't good, but it's not that it's bad. I have a much more casual, or not casual, <laughs> European training style. Not a big American style trainer of like hit one thing really hard. I just kind of do it all continuously. There was interesting writings about it, how the American concept of like a hard workout is like you shouldn't be that sore after workout because if I do, if you do 100 pull-ups in a day, you're going to be really tired and not want to do any tomorrow. What if I do 15 or 20 and then do some the next day and then the next day and the next day and the next day? Okay, we'll keep it up. I believe in you. Thank you. I'm already like five pounds stronger. Ah. I'm gonna be honest, I just like piled on the muscle again. It's kind of crazy how quickly. <laughs> it's cool. I was like, dang, looking good. 
I like how you preemptively say goodnight because the time switched over. <laughs> so you can micro tear into the muscle, not fun. Well, you're gonna micro tear your muscle. Not like tear tear, but like you want micro tearing because that's how it goes back. Wait, what? How? What do you mean? Which part of there was like Dude, you gotta be specific. This is Facebook. Messages don't roll in that quick. Thanks, guys. Went to bed at like 10 every night. I'm sleepy. Proud of you. Just lifting help you build muscle all back. Help you build muscle back all, all back. Plus, well, not like actually all back. Not like I'm not back to... I'm up like five pounds, dude. Relax. That was actually painful. Oh. Whatever, dude. I'm not even. Um. I'm a sleepy boy. I'm not back to the 205. Am I swole boy? No, I'm just up. Wait, I'm just, I'm just doing better. I'll see you later. Ladder. Choose this morgan. No, I didn't instantly gain like 20 pounds of muscle. Just be silly. It would actually probably hurt really bad. I'm not supposed to. But I've been doing really good about my diet. I've been eating really consistently. Not just eating, but like eating like 250 grams of protein a day. It's kind of hard. But I've been doing it. Speaking of which, I'm going to go get dinner. Appreciate y'all. Take care. Peace out. See you later. Bye now. Be good.